Hello everyone, this is Matt from JT5. This is Arkady from JT5. And today we're going to be answering a very common question that we get about our excavators, which is what is the lifting capacity? Now, truth be told, uh, the answer is kind of complicated. But today we have our JT5120P excavator. We have a crane scale and we'll be conducting a little bit of an experiment to show you what we mean and hopefully uh, give you a little bit more clarity on your questions. So uh, come and join us and let's get into it. Our crane scale is connected to an anchor that we've buried in the ground. Uh, what it will let us do is use the excavator and exert lifting force in multiple positions. So for example, uh, different distances from the blade, uh, different sizes of the excavator, using different hydraulic cylinders, uh, just to show you kind of the differences in lifting force uh, based on these variables. Uh, and that will be shown right here on this screen. For our first experiment, we will be doing a standard lift from the front of the excavator. The excavator is being supported by the dozer blade in the front, as well as the tracks have been expanded to give us maximum stability. The distance from the anchor to the edge of the dozer blade is approximately 20 inches. Since it's a diesel machine, first we need to glow plug it for about five seconds. And now we're ready to start it. Lower our hydraulic block. The machine is ready to go. We'll give it max swirl for this test. And first, we're going to start to lift uh, just the, with the boom cylinder by itself. About That's 850. Okay, now I'm going to add the curl force on the bucket. Uh, about 1,400. And now I'm going to try to uh, bring the arm forward and see if it's going to help. That's about 1,600. Okay. That's about the max you can do if you lift something off the ground. For this test, it's the same distance as before, but you're going to lift the blade and see what the tipping load is going to be. Now we're going to test the uh, tipping load by first lifting the blade and then repeating the experiment. And we will stop when the rear of the excavator will, will start to lift off. Lifting the blade, adding the throttle, starting the lift. off the ground. Okay, adding the swaddle. Start the lifting with the boom cylinder. Adding the curl. And then adding the arm movement. about between 400 to 700 pounds. Yeah, just hitting that 600 pound point there. That's about as much as it's gonna go. already off the ground. So for this test we've turned the excavator to the side, uh, we will we have expanded tracks and the dozer blade is raised. The distance between the edge of the track and the anchor is approximately 33 inches. All right let's start our lift. We're off the ground. Now let's do it again, except this time we've pulled in the extendable tracks, 
the new distance from the tracks to the anchor is approximately 40 inches. Let's start left. Okay. We're already off the ground. So this time we've turned the excavator around so the dozer blade is now at the back. Uh, you might be asking why this is different than in the beginning when we just had it raised up but forward. Uh, and the answer is the dozer blade actually does provide a counterweight. So now we're going to show you what that looks like in terms of actual lifting force. Uh, the distance between the tracks and the anchors for this particular test is 40 inches. All right, starting left. off the ground. Let's do the same test just now at a distance uh, of 65 inches from the edge of the tracks to the anchor. Okay, let's start our lift. Oh, we're already off the ground. As you can see, the lifting capacity of your excavator will depend on how you use it. Uh, factors like how far your boom is extended, whether you're using dozer blade for support or not, and a few others will impact the maximum lifting capacity of your excavator in that particular moment. Hopefully, this video has been able to provide some clarity on the subject. If you'd like to learn more about our JT5120P, uh, we have a full video demo on our YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Joyt5 or our machines, please visit www.joyt5.com. As always, thank, thank you, you for, for watching. watching. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe.